in this video i'll show you how to create this button hovering effect using elementor so if i'm hovering on the column you can see here the button is coming from the bottom so how to create this in this video i'll show you wait 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 before starting this video i want to tell you that if you want us on your wordpress project or any website project then you can contact us through our website that's dickcreato.com or you can contact through the link given in the description below we are a team of developers we will try your best to create your website successfully so now without further ado let's get started all right so to create this we need elementor pro to use the custom css so if you have not elementor pro i will put the elementor pro link in the description you can download it from here so let's get started the video so with first i am go to the dashboard and then go to the pages and i'm clicking on this add new to a new pages work on new pages let's suppose i am giving it to demo page and giving it to publish then click on this blue edit with elementor button as the new page open i'm clicking on this setting gear icon and then i'm selecting this page layout to elementor canvas okay now the page is now clean let's suppose at first we have to click on this plus icon select one column let's suppose this column select this container this height i'm giving it to height in viewport height vh and i'm giving it to 100 vh all right click on the plus icon again okay so i'm clicking on this navigator i'm selecting this navigator to properly you can see also how the things was going on okay so now click on this plus icon place another one container and by the way this the container is coming from the flexbox container if you have not turned on the flexbox container go to the wordpress dashboard here's the elementor after hovering on the elementor you will see this settings like option click on this settings and here go to this features after little bit scrolling down you will find flexbox container so from i'm already activated this that's why it's showing activate but if you are using this first time you will see this default option you have to click on drop down and then select active scroll down and click on this save changes so now you will get this flexbox container here so after getting this flexbox container place the container as i am already showing you now click on this plus icon place another container and now duplicate this latest container here and duplicate in once more okay we have now three columns select the parent container here and i'm selecting this direction to horizontally yes it is now set in horizontal and i want to make this all of these columns in center so how to do this at first select this container here justify content center and this all columns will be on center okay now click on this plus icon here you will get the columns edit container so you have to click on this column and then go to the style tab background type i am here giving selecting one image here here's the image i want to select select it and scroll down i will see this position selecting this center and center and repeat will be no repeat display size will be cover so you may think that this uh, height the image is not visible so we forgot to give the height so select this container here go to the layout and this pixel i am giving this 400 pixel okay now our image is now visible properly and go to the style tab then i am to giving the border radius let's suppose give the border radius to 10 let's say 15 yes it's looking good now go to the edge we just uh, add the border radius let's add one box shadow here's the box shadow I'm giving it to 10 pixel horizontal 10 pixel vertical and uh, blur will be like 40 yes and spread will be 10 i think it's too much so let's decrease decrease this yes now it's looking good now click on this update don't forget to click on the up uh, save the changes all of the, all of the changes uh, after um, clicking on this update button okay now place on the click on the plus icon and place the button here here's the button so i think this the button is showing so i we have we need to add an overlay 
so click on this container then this background overlay we uh, need to add an overlay so let's suppose uh, this overlay i'm selecting this black overlay and opacity will be 0 0.3 let's suppose 0 0.3 here yes and uh, if i'm hovering now it is coming and this transition will be 0 0.3 also okay now select this button and customize it so let's this click here so let's keep it as it is and i'm selecting this font okay this font here and this is the text color so i'm selecting this white so a black text color and background type will be this white okay now the button is looking good now to center is the button click on this alignment to center and i want to say position this button to the bottom to the bottom side right so how to do this this column i edit the corner container go to the layout and here is the flex end so this is the justify content this is the flex end if i click on this then it will be uh, went to the bottom and now if you want to maintain the gap between the column and the bottom so you want to give the height so click on this button go to the advanced step and unbind this matching and bottom will be 20 pixel okay now it's looking good right so now the main thing is that we need to add some css okay so this button select the button here and here we have to write some css code so here's the css classes we have to write main button here as it is i am writing down here we have you have to write this also i am showing here in the, on the screen you can see in big th text so you can see it properly uh, so main button i am selecting writing here this is classes and go to this column and we have to paste some css okay this column select this column go to the advanced tab and this custom css so if you are don't know that the custom css is only available on the elementor pro so if you have not elementor pro download it from the description now click on this custom css and now paste it over there i will put the css on the description we have just have to copy it and paste it so now if i am hovering now you can see the cool button effect is coming from the bottom so let's preview it i'm clicking on this update and to preview this click on this eye icon okay now we have just our button hovering effect is coming now if i'm hovering now you can see the behind this column the button is coming from the bottom now if you want to add some more hover effect on the button also so let's suppose go to the elementor page click on this button and then this hover effect text color will be white and this background type and background color will be black now click on this update and let's suppose i'm closing this elementor elements bar and if i'm hovering so the button is coming and the if i'm hovering on the button also the button color is also changing so this is how you can make this cool button effect using elementor pro and this effect you can also showcase from your uh, like in, if you have a furniture website like this is the window so if you have a furniture website and you want to uh, showcase your product with this button hover effect you can do this effect if you are facing any issue to create this effect feel free to comment down below we will try to solve your problem if this video is helpful for you hit the like button subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for the first notification thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time